It doesn't get much better than this, guys. Every day at lunchtime, they play music throughout the campus. And it's in the woods and there's speakers everywhere. And it's kind of nice, but they also do it at night between like, say, like six o'clock and 10 o'clock. So sometimes it can be a little loud when you're trying to get a nap in or try to watch a movie. It can be a little too loud, but for the most part, it's not so bad. And they mix in some news stories too. You know, the students have this like little radio news station that they blast. I'll go try and find something. Everyone knows I love to hike, but finding, uh, there's a news story. <laughs> finding uh, trailheads in Zhongshan can be a little challenging. You know, good ones at least, you know. So, you know, you always wind up in some small village or something. So I was at the gym, I was working out, and one of the trainers, she came over to me and she said, I've seen your videos, you like to go hiking. I said, yeah, yeah thanks for watching. And she said, oh, I, got a, I know of a great trail that you would love. I said, great, where is it? And she gave me very vague directions. She couldn't find it on the map, but she said, okay, go down this road. You come to a little village, you turn left into the village, you park your bike, then you walk back towards a gas station about a kilometer, and you'll see the trailhead on the right. Those are my instructions. That's what I have to go on to find this trailhead. She couldn't tell me the name of the mountain uh, or what's around it. She just said, go there, you'll like it. So I'm off on a little adventure. Now, I know the general area that she's talking about, and it's about the maximum radius of uh, travel I can get on a full charge. So it's a little bit of a bike ride to get down there. But today is an absolutely beautiful day here in Zhongshan. Perfect weather, the air is clean and fresh. Why don't you come with me? We're gonna go for a little ride, and then we're going to try to find this trailhead. And once we find the trailhead, we're gonna hike and see where it takes us. I have no idea what to expect. This is what I live for. Small little afternoon adventure, but I love doing stuff like this. Construction everywhere, and this little intersection here has been under construction for years, and I have to find a way to navigate it on an e-bike, surrounded by giant buses and, <laughs> and trucks. It's one of the more dangerous places in town if you're riding an e-bike. This is the road that supposedly the trailhead is on, <clears throat> and it's uh, completely under construction. And it's a part of town that I don't know very well. Uh, it's headed towards Sanxiang. There's like a highway that cuts through the mountains. It's supposed to be on the left-hand side. I'm on the lookout for a, a university, which I think I see on the left. And then um, there should be a gas station on the left. And then I'm supposed to turn left into a village past the gas station. I was told if I hit the horses that I've gone too far. So I think these are the horses that she was talking about. This must be some kind of equestrian ranch. And so I think I've gone a little too far. So I gotta come back up. And I did see a little turn off here. I don't know where it goes. Maybe, maybe to a village, we'll find out. Cars on the side of the road. I don't think they're part of the village. It looks like a very quiet little village. This has got to be it though. Yeah, everyone in the village is staring at me. I don't think they see too many foreigners here. But uh, okay, so I think this is it. This has got to be it. This is the only village I can see off this road. There, I don't see any access to a trailhead from here. However, there's like a little ravine that kind of goes underneath this road here and it heads that way. And it looks really gorgeous. So I'm going to see if I can get on the other side of this wall and look for the trailhead. I'm told that you can see it from the main highway, so uh, I'm gonna try and walk near the highway, down the ravine, and uh, try to find it. I do see a gate here, but there's a giant lock on it, so that can't be it. Well, I don't see any like walkable trail. 
Okay, I do see a worn path to the side of the barrier down the highway, so that's a good sign. Tells me some people have walked this way before. This has got to be it. And, uh, oof. Man, it looks like it goes straight up. And you can see, here's the main highway, the road. And it's right off, I mean, it's right off the side of the road. And there's the trailhead. Just an odd place for one. Again, finding trailheads in China, and especially in these smaller cities, is nearly impossible for a foreigner. Because I'm sure there's information on how to find these things in forums and stuff like that online, but it's all in Chinese. There's none of this in English. But I'm told that this is a very beautiful hike, and I'm told that it goes up to the top of a mountain where it's got one of the best views in Zhongshan. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, so it being fall, I only get a few hours of daylight left. So I need to start heading up this mountain, but first I gotta stretch. Back to the highway. The initial part of the hike isn't that bad. It's a concrete trail, but it's not maintained. This isn't a park. In fact, I believe that this trail might actually be an access trail for some utility lines that I see around. Which is common, you see that in the west too. It being on this side of the highway, at least on this ridge, it's not quiet. The highway is very, very noisy. Okay, stop to take a rest. I've only been hiking for about 30 minutes. Uh, it's up, it's going up. Someone commented recently that as an ex-military guy, I seem to be panting a lot when I go hiking. Even if you're in shape, this is still a workout. And I haven't been in the service for, shit, well over 10 years, almost 15 years now. And I'm pushing 40, I'll be 40 soon. It's a bitch getting older. You know, when I was in my 20s, I could run up this. Hell, even five years ago, I could probably run up this. And nowadays, it's a little bit harder. I still try to stay in shape, I go to the gym, I go running a lot, but, I'm, I'm not in my prime anymore and recovery times take longer so I got to do a lot of more yoga a lot more stretching but that's okay it's a beautiful day to go walking in the woods yeah I was right this trail is mainly for utility access so I come this way you have this tower here that runs this way out towards Nanlong and Kain. Wow. Yeah, the view up here, you right, it's beautiful. I love hiking in China. Continuing the hike, once I crested the first hill with that last uh, uh, area and saw the beautiful view of Zhongshan, now I'm walking along this, this ridge. And it is gorgeous. I'm the only one here. I haven't seen anybody. And it's just the perfect day to go for a hike. Blue skies, clean air. <sighs> It doesn't get much better than this, guys. I think I might have found my new favorite trail in Zhongshan. You know, it's, it's concrete. They're all concrete. There's no dirt trails. I found one dirt trail, but it's way too technical to do some running. But this one, I can trail run this very nicely, especially up here on the ridge. This is great. And again, it's a beautiful day and it's a Friday and there's not a single person out here. I am the only one. All I hear is me and the animals. Now it seems as though I've come to the end of the utility rock and the trail has turned to dirt and continues on down the ridge. Curious how far it goes. Yeah. 
trail's getting a little technical, but it's fun. It looks like this area has been trampled on quite a bit in all different directions, so it's difficult to know which way to go. I can mark the trail with that blue sign. Yeah, this is where the trail gets a little technical. Scurry up the... Let's see if I can do it. Watch out for spiders and bees. Snakes. So I've accomplished this hill. A great hike. Very big thanks to Joyce at the gym. If you're watching, thank you for the for the tip. This was a great little hike. Uh, I'll probably come back here sometime in the future. I don't know if you can see it, but there are lots of mountains in this area for me to explore. I just have to find the trails to explore them. By the way, for those of you who do watch me and live in the Guangdong area, and you know of some great hikes, let me know. Let me know where they are. Let me know down in the comments where they are. I'd love to go explore those as well. This is one of my favorite things to do. So uh, if you have any secret areas or some great hikes, please send me your recommendations and I will try to get there and I will try to hike them. 